Hey everyone, it's Angela with Food Storage and Survival.com, and today we are going to be doing leather britches, which is a method of preserving green beans. Um, which is it's kind of an older method, and it's not all bad. It does work. Um, it's just that we've come a long ways in food preservation techniques. And today, if I were going to dry my green beans, I would blanch them first. It, it stops the enzymatic breakdown action in the green bean and it also makes it a little easier to rehydrate and cook with when, when, you, when you want to use them again. All right, so, but this is a method that's been around for ages and ages. It's just drying green beans. So you need green beans. Uh, take the top end off, the stem end where it was attached to the plant. The other little pointy end is fine to leave on there. And then you need a needle and thread. This is where you're you don't need good sewing skills, just marginal sewing skills. If you can tie a knot and poke stuff with a needle, you're good to go. So what you want to do is just poke through the top end of the green bean. And you're stringing them on this string so that they can hang and dry. The first one that you put on, you know, I've already got myself a little knot here going on accident. The first one that you put on, you do want to tie off with a knot so that it holds all the rest of them on and then just, I can't tie a knot today unless I don't want to. All right, knot, we're just gonna square knot this baby and it will stay on just fine. Okay, when that dries, you'll be able to clip that off and, and use that green bean too. All right, that's it. We're just gonna keep on stringing green beans on our string it's kind of like sewing, but not really. All right, we got them all strung up. There you go, pretty, right? Now you could leave the end string um, a little bit longer than I left it and tie it to itself so you have a circle that you can hang. I'm just gonna leave this end long and hang it up. Now, in case you're wondering why I'm doing this when I said that if I were doing green beans and drying them, that I would blanch them, uh, I'm doing this for a, a living history event that we go to and I'm doing a colonial food preservation display and so I want some dried green beans that were dried just air dried on a string like they would have done and so that's what they're for it's in Orem over the 4th of July and you're welcome to come to it Orem Utah that is and um, is that over the 4th of July and it's put on by the Colonial Heritage Foundation and I will link to that in the uh, description of this video and we'll check back with these green beans in a while and see how they dry up